Greetings and salutations and welcome to Hockey TV and our coverage of the Sweagles, the Espanola Express, and the Northern Ontario Junior Hockey League. Scott Nason at Polar Stadium on this Friday night, the last Friday of the month of February, awaiting the start of our game here between the hometown Sweagles and the visiting Espanola Express. Joining us right off the bat is our color commentator, Larry Posbon. And well, Pos, we're down to the last six games for the Sioux Eagles. The Eagles in fourth place in the West Division. They're five points behind Blind River. So the playoff pushes on. Thoughts on uh, this one heading into tonight's faceoff? Well, as uh, we've been saying now, all, uh, all these games are important, really, really important. And uh, this one tonight, you know, Espinola only have one win. And uh, tonight they're coming in with another handicap. They only have uh, 12 skaters plus the two goaltenders, so I'm not sure what kind of situation they're going to present tonight for the Eagles. Sometimes people, a team will play harder when you when you're you're not going to get. The only time you're going to get rest on this team for the Espinola is when you go in the penalty box or you get ejected from right. the game. Uh, uh, but the Eagles can't just take that and and uh, and stride saying, well, they only have 12 players. We could take it easy. It's on the ice. You have to perform, not just on the paper. And uh, Eagles have to perform tonight. This is getting them closer to the third or second playoff position. Right now, they got a solid hole on fourth. They want to move up further, and they have to come and play like they did the other night when they beat uh, Rayside Balfour Canadians, 5 nothing. you got to play like that. Larry, uh, we have a gentleman up here, I think, that wants to speak with us, so why don't oh. you uh, see him? Oh, oh, Wisconsin Cheese! Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, Lonnie, okay, okay yes, I didn't yeah. recognize you. You look 10 years younger. Th thanks for coming up. Is anybody watching back at home tonight? Everybody, but I, his brother Max is up. Okay, Max. And Max is tenured with the junior Gainesville Dempster. Oh, the, oh, the NHL, yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So he's leaving, you know, to go play for them. That's fantastic. Good. Nice to see you again. I'm glad. Thanks for coming. Thank you. We appreciate you. it, Lonnie. Yeah. Enjoy the broadcast. Enjoy the game. Wow. How about what, that? That is you, fan you? interaction right there, Larry. Lonnie Teckle from Wisconsin, the home of the cheese, bringing us some. Uh, I'll take the Colby. <laughs> Are we gonna have to fight over no, this? No, no, no. I was just looking to see what type they were. That's all. That's, that's fantastic. A, yeah, they're, they're, oh, so, look at this. That's that's good stuff right there. Oh yeah. So we'll uh, say hello to the Teckle family back in Wisconsin, watching <laughs> as long as the Barterson family. Uh, looking at the standings, Larry, in the West Division right now, Rayside Balfour. In first place, 70 points. They played two more games than the Sioux Thunderbirds, who are in second place with 67 points. Both those teams are in action tonight. We'll get to that in a moment. Really, the Eagles have their eyes on Blind River, the team ahead of them. Right now, Blind River, 66 points, one point behind the Thunderbirds for second place. The Blind River Beers have played two more games than the Thunderbirds, and they played one more game than the Sioux Eagles, who have 50 games played, 61 points. And Blind River and the Thunderbirds, Larry, in action at tonight at the John Rhodes Community Center. They'll be in Blind River tomorrow. Rayside Balfour taking on Elliott Lake. And while the Eagles still have a shot to catch Rayside and even the Thunderbirds, really they got to be rooting for one of two things tonight. They got to be hoping that the Thunderbirds take care of Blind River. Right. And they got to hope that there's no overtimes at all this weekend in any of the games because, you know, in overtime, both teams get points. That's the last thing the Eagles need right no, now. No, you're right. Yeah, you, you just well, you want somebody to lose. You don't want them getting a, a tie and going into overtime and getting a, getting a win or staying with a tie or getting or yeah whatever. <laughs> you're still it's attracted by that cheese. Yeah, yeah I'm just. Uh, well, that's great. That, that is, is that's, great stuff. That's a nice gesture. Well, thank you, Wisconsin Lonnie. Wisconsin cheese, absolutely yeah. out of town, Larry. One game already underway. Cochran leading Hurst one to nothing, and uh, Powassan. How about this score, Larry? Eight minutes to play in the first period. Powassan six, French River nothing. Wow. Blind River and the Thunderbirds set to face off when this one does at 7.30 as long with Elliott Lake, who cannot catch the Eagles. They are in fifth place. They're one of the hottest teams in the league. They've won five in a row. They're hosting Rayside Balfour. And again, Eagles right now in that fourth place position would take on Elliott Lake, who's guaranteed the fifth place spot in the West in that opening round best of three series. So... There's a lot to play for in these six games, Larry. Home and home against Espinola, and then Monday night at Blind River. So if everything worked out to the Eagles' advantage, they could be just one point behind Blind River going into that game Monday with a game in hand. They'll also take on Blind River a week from tonight here. 
Elliott Lake a week from tomorrow night here, and they'll end the season at the Thunderbirds. So comes down to this, Larry. Eagles, if they win their remaining six games, almost certainly will probably finish in third place. So they control their own destiny to a certain degree. Yes, they do, yeah, and that's that's what you want. You, uh, you'd like help from somebody else out there, but uh, you, you got to control your own. You, you have to win yours first, and then you'd like to get some help from somebody else. If you are watching tonight on Hockey TV and want to contact Larry or I during the game, we have a very easy way to do so. It involves Twitter, and you can tweet me at snason, that's N-A-S-O-N, 2013. Let us know what you think about the broadcast. We want to give some shout-outs to people that are watching or just have questions in general. We would love to hear from you, as we already saw Lonnie Tackle. He's not a Twitter guy, but he watches fast ho- or excuse me, hockey TV back in Wisconsin. Want to say hello to the entire Tackle family watching, along with the Barterson family. Also want to say hello to Daniel Clark, whose son is not in the lineup tonight, Larry, but he's still watching. He says, go Eagles. And before the game, Larry, we had a very nice conversation with another parent. Tell us about that. Yeah, Bobby Price's dad come up, Jim, and uh, very nice things to say about us, which was surprising. But nah, we love no. that. <laughs> no, but uh, it was it was good conversation. We had him. He stayed up a while here prior to us going on the air and just giving us a little information about himself, uh, where he's living and, and uh, some of his uh, service time. Yeah. He performed uh, and uh, just all around very nice gentleman. He spoke highly of the organization. And uh, where do you go from there? And he's sitting right across from us uh, in his favorite seat yeah. that we just found out where he is. So easy for us to spot. If uh, if we get Bobby get a goal tonight, then maybe we get the cameraman to shoot it on uh, on Dad. Definitely. I want to say hello to Vicky, uh, Jim's wife, watching back in Houston. And uh, Jim did have a message for you, Vicky. He's going to bring some warm weather up here. We had about three inches of snow up here today so i'll let you do the math but, but, on that it, but one. it melted though it did yeah quickly indeed let's look at the lineups tonight first of all for the visiting espanola express as you mentioned larry very uh, short bench tonight only 12 skaters dressed players not in the lineup tonight include number five mackenzie mcmillan number nine jace pitawanaquat number 10 tristan poissant number 12 joel grambois Number 13, Joshua Zladzinski. See, I got that one you right. Got, He's not got, in the yeah, lineup. Yeah. <laughs> number 14, Josh DeCoffey. Number 21, Andrew Frappier. Number 22, Parker Morgan. Number 24, Connor Tessier. And number 20, goaltender Connor Creer. For the Sioux Eagles, players not in the lineup include number 17, Owen Kipke. Number 18, Hayden Clark. Number 22, Kobe Keller. Number 25, Jonathan Lacani. And goaltender number one, Ravi Katri for the Eagles starting in net tonight, Shane Brancato, and for Espinola starting in net number one, Adam Scott. Larry, you know, this game, obviously the game on Wednesday, the Eagles, you know, easy to get up for. I mean, you're playing the first place team. You're playing a team that's beating you a lot. Yeah. This is a different animal right now. When you look at the Eagles, they have beaten Espinola every game but one. They did tie once in Espinola, a team that's only won one game. They're only skating 12. Is it hard? For a team to get motivated for that, or how does a coach try to get his team motivated for that? I, I, I believe it is harder as a player. It's harder to get motivated to, to say, "Well, we're going up against these guys." First of all, if maybe if they weren't the bottom place team and playing with twelve guys, you know, they, they'd be holding something else. They would a little more go for the Eagles. But right now, you got the bottom place team coming here with twelve skaters, uh, and I'm not even sure if they're the best twelve because those are the twelve they brought because of whatever problems or whatever uh, situation the others couldn't make it so yeah it it, to me it is harder to to stay motivated but uh i don't i think espinola will make them be motivated because espinola's coming out they've got nothing to lose because that's all they've been doing is losing so now they kind of come out we can knock off this team here it's just a feather in their cap to help end the season for espinola and this espinola team larry i mean granted they've had some lopsided losses here but you know, you look at them, they're 1-49-1, and and but they're not quite the typical 1-49-1 and team, in my opinion. I mean, we've seen some of those teams over the years. I mean, they can come out and play a good hockey game. I mean, they're not going to just roll over and die tonight, are they? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, uh, if I was on the bench, I wouldn't. Right. I mean, uh, you got to have it, – it's it comes down to a character, and it comes down to embarrassment. Why should I roll over and die and instead of the score being 7 nothing? Why should it be 15 nothing? Now I'd be really be embarrassed. So you, you got you got to work at it. You got to be out there. You got to give your all and give 100 percent of your 100 percent. That's a lot of percent right there. Want to say 100. hello? That's right. I want to say hello to uh, 
Patty Lanning watching. Uh, Marie and Lenny watching from Arizona as well, along with Hawk. She says, let's go Eagles. Again, if you want to contact us, go on Twitter, snason2013. Larry, before we go to our opening ceremonies, as a Canadian, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's been a tough couple days in the Olympics. As far as the team sports, your hockey team, men's we, team, we, got eliminated by Germany. We, they, we, we can't do anything on the ice right now. Not even curling. What's, no. what's going on? I don't know. Curling? Uh, that Koei, he's a good curler, too. Cause, uh, Boy. He, he, him and George, uh, Brad Jacobs uh, from the Sioux, they, uh, they, they go up against each other. They're hot. He had a he had a bad series. I watched some of that curling. And I, I also watched some of the, uh, the hockey game today with Germany and then and uh, Canada. The Germans, who knew? Really? Yeah. And, uh, of course, that U.S. women's game against Canada. I mean, you know me, and, and you said it to me before we went on the air. I'm not a fan of the shootout. I don't like the way that game ended. Play, play it. It's a medal game for Grand yeah, You're I'll right. Play yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like uh, we're, we're playing for a playoff position. But or, I will uh, tell you this, Larry. 1.30 a.m. live, I will be staying up and watching the gold medal curling game for the men against Sweden. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that right now, but I love curling and go USA. It's going to be a fun one there. I'll probably tip back a few as well, so it should, okay. should be a good night had by all. We're going to take a break here on our pregame show. We'll hear the opening ceremonies, the starting lineups from Bob St. Peter, our national anthems from Dan Kinney, and then Larry and I will have the start of tonight's NLJHL contest between the Espinola Express and the Sioux Eagles on Hockey TV. So there you have it, Larry, starting lineups, national anthems, and we are just about ready to go here at Polar Stadium between the Sioux Eagles and Espinola Express. We've had some people. You, were you catching that? Some I was audience. noticing that. A lot of our audience participation both there. Both national anthems yeah. singing along. It was nice. Well, you know, Olympics brings the patriotism and everything <laughs> like that. That's good to see. One of the basketball games that I do uh, in Brimley, Michigan, which is about yeah, 12 miles west of here, they don't even have anybody sing. They have the crowd sing, which I think is a nice touch. They yeah. just The guy comes on the PA and says, you know what, everybody belt it out. We want to hear you. And I always find that's uh, very good. So here we go, Larry, ready to go. These teams will meet one more time this season. Tomorrow night in Espanola, the Eagles lead the season series 5-0-1 with six games remaining. The Eagles, if they want to get out of fourth place, well, they're going to have to win both these games this weekend. Eagles in their home white jerseys with the black and gold trim. The Express in their road black jerseys. We're underway here at Puller Stadium. Eagles will be going left to right as seen on your video monitor. Now the Express with the puck. Very short bench tonight as they only dress 12 skaters. So we'll see if that affects this team as this one goes along. Now the Eagles try to clear it. Doucette keeps it in. Now kicked ahead there by Lamberti. Lamberti across the blue line. Now Lamberti kind of got uh, mugged there a little bit. And that's going to be a penalty on Espinola. Yep. As uh, I believe that was Doucette kind of almost put Lamberti in a headlock. Eagles still have the puck. So they have a empty net right now. Schwab over at the far side, quick shot, oh, deflects there. in front, and ooh, that was a quick whistle there. But the Eagles will go on their first power play, Larry, as we're not even a minute into this contest. No, let's uh, let's hope it's successful to get a good start. And if you're watching at home, please let us know what you think about the broadcast. If you want to say hi to somebody, the easiest way you can do that is go on Twitter. Tweet me, snason2013. Want to say hello to the Tackle family watching back in Wisconsin. Dad Lonnie here bringing us some great cheese. I'm going to eat that with crackers tonight watching curling. <laughs> Drinking on <laughs> and, and, yeah. this beverage. It's, it's going to be a good time had by all. Now row over to tackle. Row at the point. Quick shot block. Now tackle on the right wing side. He had a pair of goals on Wednesday night. And the Eagles 5-0 win. Number two. Jacob Doucette. Two minutes holding. So holding the call as the Express clear it down the ice. Crowd still building here. Not a bad crowd. Not a big crowd, but somewhere in the middle. There's, there's a lot more on this side behind yeah. us. We'll talk more about that in the second period. Now here's the Eagles trying to get the power play underway. Early trying to clear it. Now the Eagles keep it in. Barterson with it. Barterson, quick shot. Saved there by Scott. And shot down the ice by the Express. That's the first shot on goal here tonight. Although it doesn't look like we're getting the shots on goal. Here is, uh, we have uh, reserve duty there. Ken Aikens. Not here. Uh, so another one of the Horn clan on the uh, board, if you will. He doesn't have enough fingers to do everything. No. <laughs> now here's the Express with it. They'll shoot it down the ice. Eagles still on the power play for another 50 seconds. No score. We played two minutes of this first period. 
Slow start to this power play. The Eagles only got one shot on goal. Got a second unit out there right now. Maybe they can be more uh, offensive. Casey on the right wing side, dropping it for Saxton. Now Saxton up to Butcher. Over to Price. Price down low, Saxton. Back to the point, Butcher. That shot blocked. Jake Saxton got in that fight on Wednesday night. Initially, he had the instigator penalty, but after further review, no suspension, which is good news. Eagles can't afford to lose anybody right now out of the lineup. Now here's the Eagles with it. Ten seconds left on the power play. Price across the blue line. Price back to the point. Butcher in oh, front. Deflection save. Rebound. Palmario had a chance. Scott went sprawling, and that'll pretty much do it for the power play. He now, broke uh, his <laughs> wow, the goaltender lost his Broncato stick. Broncato broke his stick. Yeah. He was clapping, uh, stamping the ice with it to let the players know that the penalty was over. And uh, here he is, a broken stick. Well, now we have, we'll Saxton talk. gave him his stick as Saxton went for a line change. We'll talk more about that here in a moment. Does that go for goaltending sticks there, Rob, yeah. as far as fixyourstick.com? It, it, it does. Okay, there you go. Well, that's We haven't seen a broken goalie stick, I think, Larry. And all the time we've been doing this. At least since fixyourstick.com. Now the Express with it. They'll clear it down the ice, and that's good news for the Eagles. They want to get the goaltender there with a uh, regular goaltending stick. Well, you know, it's a good thing it broke like that without a shot on goal because sometimes a shot on goal could hit the stick, breaks, and puck could deflect into the net. So Brucato dodged the bullet there. 16.41 to play in this first period. Still no score. Face off to the left of a goaltender, Adam Scott, who looks to likely be a pretty busy man in net tonight. Now here's Tharleton with it. Tharleton along the near boards to Chuck. Over to Laukinen. Express with the puck. Trying to clear the zone, and they do. Down the ice, and that's be another, be another icing. icing, Larry. Yeah. And give me a chance to check the out-of-town scoreboard. Okay. Again, we're really keeping an eye on that Thunderbirds Blind River game. That one just getting underway, no score. Also no score in Elliott Lake between Rayside and the Wildcats, Powassan leading French River by the score of six to nothing and one one, Hurston Cochran after one. No score here, 16-20 to play in the first period. Eagles with the puck. Quinn now lost it, Chachuk has it. Now Chachuk, whoa, puts a shot on goal there. Scott had to be <laughs> aware on that one. Now Puckle on the far board, Schwab passes it over to Capasiolto, back to Schwab, Schwab moving in, Schwab with a shot, saves Scott, Mom Lana here tonight. Right across the way, want to say hello to Sven Schwab if he's watching tonight. Now the Eagles with the puck. Brendan Blair, Blair over to Saxton. Now Blair with it, want to say hello to Tom Blair and family watching in St. Louis tonight. Now here's Vitali back in the lineup after missing Wednesday's game with a little bit of the flu bug that's going around. Fenema over in the far corner. Along the near side to Patterson. Patterson behind the bench. Behind the net, rather. If he was behind the bench, that would be very odd. They'd have too many men on the ice, Yeah, maybe. exactly. <laughs> now here's Vitali. Vitali across the blue line. Vitali with a shot, and that just goes right into the pads of Scott, and he'll hold with 15-15 to play in the first period. Larry's still scoreless. Okay, there we got two shots up on, on there right now. Okay, yeah, Br uh, fix your stick, that goalie stick now. Fix your stick, F-I-X-U-R-S-T-I-C-K dot com. $35, fixes a goal stick also, guaranteed 30 days. It's a good deal. Yeah, Rob Horn and Brian Huntley. We'll get more to that later on as the Eagles... With the puck in the express zone. Picked up there by Mihalo Christus. He goes by Leo it's in some circles, apparently. Bob circles, at least. Although he just has on his jersey layer. You know that during warm-ups, Mahalo. We're going to go with that. Wow, that was a shot. Now Mahalo with the wide. shot. That goes wide. So we'll stick with Mahalo while I sneeze. Okay. Eagles got it. Die ball is coming up the ice. He dumps it into the corner, and he goes for a change. Not falling Rohan's out here, Larry. Right front. Now here's Saxon, Saxon with it. A shot that goes wide. Rebound along the doorstep. Row back to the point. Now Blair has it. Quick shot deflected. Save there, Scott. Brassa with it. That's center ice. He'll dump it in. Brent Cotto out of his net. Right now they have four shots on goal for the Eagles. I believe Vespinola has not registered one. At least that's what the scoreboard says. I would concur. Now here's Price on the right wing side. Price across the blue line. Poke checked away. 
Here's Hurley with it. Hurley for the Express. Ridden off by Barterson. Now quick shot. Ooh. There's the first shot on that, Larry, and a save by Brancato, and he'll hold. That was a scary one there, Brancato. It didn't have the stick down flat on the ice. It almost went underneath. Want to say hello to Vicky watching in Houston. She says she's home watching, but Jim is there at the Polar. He's in town for a few days. We were talking about that in the pregame show, Vicky. He came up and had a very nice conversation with Larry and I and also wanted you to know, well, first of all, of course, that he misses you and loves you and all that good stuff, but also that he's going to bring back more warm weather. I don't know where he's going to get it from up here, but that's what he told me, and he's a Marine, so I'm not going to argue. Yeah. <laughs> Flipped up to center <laughs> ice. I was in the Navy. I learned better. Now here's die ball with it. Die ball, headman's up to Barterson. He's got tackle with him. Barterson with it. Barterson still has it. Tried to get it to tackle out of his reach. Now tackle. Back to Butcher. Butcher moves in. Shot. That hits the defenseman in front. Goes right to the express player, Thomas. Thomas shoots it in. Chased in by Die ball for the Eagles. 13-10 to play in this first period. Still no score. Shots 4-1 in favor of the home team. Now Barterson gets it to tackle. Tackle with a shot. Misses the net. Dad Lonnie right behind the yes. net there, Larry. Uh, bring us some nice Wisconsin cheese. Almost makes me want to be a Packer fan. I stress the word almost. Well, your boys are Packer well, fans, again, aren't Again, I yeah. stress the word almost. <laughs> now here's Palmieri with the shot. That deflects wide. Mahalo over there for the Express. Now Palmario back to Tharaldson. Tharaldson shot, deflects, goes wide to Lamberti. Over to Tharaldson. Now far point. Schwab back to Palmario. Now Schwab with the shot, save Scott, rebound. Puck was loose for a moment. Picked up by Casey. He goes with a lot of possession here on this shift. Palmario on the end boards, Mahalo on him. And the Express will just shoot it down the ice. We'll have an icing with 12.20 to play in the first period. Still no score. There's some tired boys out there mm -hmm. right now for the Espanola Express. And what? they can't change. I want to say hello to Carter, or excuse me, Joe McPhail. And uh, hey, how about this, Rob? You'll like this one. Joe says his son Carter, who's uh, plays net, of course, for the Sioux Eagles, has used the fixture stick for two goalie sticks this year. How about that? Excellent. Larry, do you got any commission on that from your, uh, from your no, ads? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a cheeseburger. <laughs> exactly. So. No, no, the ribs. Right, right. The ribs. Right. ribs. Exactly. <laughs> Carter, of course, played very well. One of his best games of the year, getting his third shutout on Wednesday. 37 saves and the Eagles 5 0 win. Now that puck will go down the ice. We'll have another icing, so we're going to try to get some bodies off. And, you know, if you're these officials, of course you have to uh, watch these guys, but would, would you look the other way a little bit? Maybe if one guy goes to the bench having only 12 skaters, Larry? Uh, I know you're by the book, but come on. <laughs> hey, then, then you know what happens? They, they get, the fans get on them That's after. True. Yeah, yeah. Good so, point. Uh, Face off one by the Eagles. Blair at the point. Blair. Shot deflects wide by Lamberti. Shots 5-1 Eagles. Casey with it. Behind the net for the Eagles. He had a goal on Wednesday night. Casey back to Blair. Now Blair to Casey. Casey moves in. Shot. Nice little glove save there by Scott. And he'll hold. Scott's seen him. That's good for Espinola. Larry, one other team that we're watching closely tonight in college hockey, the Lake Superior State University Lakers. They are in Ferris State. The Lakers need at least a win and an overtime result. Well, they're down one nothing after one at Ferris. So if the Lakers lose tonight, it might be all she wrote for their playoff push. Now a shot there and a save. We'll keep an eye on that game. That one should end before this one. Over to Laukinen for the Express. Laukinen gets it up in the neutral zone. Now taken away there by Orfanos, yeah. but we'll have an offside and a faceoff outside the blue line. Want to say hello to Stephen Orfanos. And family watching in Illinois tonight. Yep, maybe they'll be here next week. Hopefully. Face-off won by the Eagles, of course, next weekend. Parents weekend, military weekend, two home games. We haven't had a lot of two home game weekends this year, Larry. I think well, three. This would be the third, yeah. Now here's our fanos so over in the far corner. Now a quick shot. That one stopped by Scott. Over along the far boards. Now it's center ice. Quinn poke checks it away. Picked up by Hurley. Now Laukinen. Barassa loses the puck. Tharleson with it. Now Banser. Banser gets it into the zone. Now Arfanos lost the puck. Goes back to center. Picked up by Patterson. Here's Patterson across the blue line. Puts a shot on Brancato. Save. Just his second save here in this first period. Shots 8-2. 
in favor of the Eagles right now as we have under 11 minutes to play in the first. Quinn shoots it in. Want to say hello to Linda. She's watching tonight. And family. Now here's the express with it. Heacock shoots it into the Eagle zone. Frank Cotto will shoot it off the boards. That one's going to go all the way back to the neutral zone. Mihalo shoots it back in. Now Schwab has it. Rink wide pass to Blair. These teams will meet tomorrow night in Espanola. Now here's Vitali across the blue line. Vitali to row over. Shot all oh, there. Went Good chance the, by Saxton. Yeah, Mahalo, I think, got a stick on that one for the Express. Here's Rowe with it. Rowe over to Schwab moving in. Now down low. Good puck movement here by the Eagles. As I say that, Rowe has it poke checked away. Schwab keeps it in. Quick shot. Scott save. Rebound Saxton. Couldn't get it. And Scott will hold with 10.04 to play here in this first period. Still no score. Again, folks, going back to fix your stick. F-I-X-U-R-S-T-I-C-K dot com. You get hold of Rob at 906-322-3330 or Brian at 860-578-3606. Vicky says that it was 80 in Houston today, Larry, so uh, Jim Price going to have his work cut out for him if he's going to bring <laughs> warm weather down there. It's Should, about 32 here. He probably brought the warm weather up here because we, so. we, uh, we had rain, freezing rain, yep. we had snow, and then we just got a, a warm spell. Yeah. Butcher with the puck behind the net for the Eagles. No score, 9.40 to play in this first period. Eagles have controlled the play, but yet to get on the board. Here's to Chuck, across the blue line for the Express. Now to Chuck, over to Barassa. Barassa in the near corner, gets it behind the net. Now over to the far side, Doucette. Shoots it in, now intercepted by Dybal. Doucette shoots it right back in. Yeah, three Eagles going outside uh, the, the zone, and, and the puck was still in the zone. They got to, they have to wait for the puck. Eagles get it to center ice. Row across the blue line. Now shot back in. Butcher with it. Butcher across the blue line. Butcher with some room. A shot. Blocker saved Scott. Couldn't find it. Now Row on the rebound. Scott saved that one. Puck along the near board. Saxton. Now Saxton plays it off the far boards. Picked up by the Express. Now Espinola with it. Fenema loses the puck. Now at center ice, Lalkin and gloves it down. He'll shoot it in. Brent Cottle jumps to make that save. He'll glove it over to Schwab. We'll have immediate timeout on our next whistle or stoppage in play. Now here's Tharlson. Shoots it back to the express zone. And Scott's going to hang on to that one, Larry, with 8.31 to play. In the first period, shots 10 to Eagles, media timeout, but we are still scoreless. Now, folks, when you're here, there's a lot of things to do, as I've said before. You get down to the Eagles' Nest. They have uh, ice-cold beer, wine coolers, Chicago-style popcorn, warm pretzels, and lots of pop or soda, whatever, whatever you like in here, state, whatever you call it. Lots of refreshments down there. Want to say hello to uh, Daniel Clark. We mentioned watching. He says, Mom and Grandma coming up next weekend. The okay. vet of the family has to work in Minneapolis, so he will not be here, but hopefully Mom and Grandma stop by and say hi. And uh, Stephen Orfano says he can't make it next week. Wish he could, but he's going to enjoy our broadcast, drinking a beverage of Canadian oh. origin. Or origin. Origin. Excuse me. Or maybe original? Yes, or origin. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and, uh, Steve and I... We drink the same beverage, so one of the, <laughs> another reason I like the guy. 8.31 to play in the first period. No score at Polar Stadium Friday night, the last Friday in February. Hard to believe it's going to be March on Thursday, Larry. Really, eh? Unreal. Time flying as it always seems to do around this time of year. Now Blair in the neutral zone. He'll flip it back in. Tackle on the chase. Dead Lonnie moving around behind the net. Now here's a chance, Starles, or Barterson with it rather. That was shot. Deflected high. Deflects high. Now the Eagles with the puck, Tackle. Tackle lost his footing. It's picked up there by Barassa. And Barassa loses the puck, picked up by Barterson and Tackle. Here's t rather Price. Price across the blue line. Now Price lost the puck. Patterson gets it over to Price. Now Price a shot, oh, saved there, Barterson, Tackle on the rebound. Tackle had the puck for a moment, now picked up by Barassa. Thank you, Jenna, or Chuck a puck girl. I'll tell you, the Eagles are just, they got, they're in the double figures right here, right now. They just can't put it by Scott. Yeah. Here's Price on the near side, across the blue line. Now Price wraps it hard off the boards, over to Barterson. Behind the net to Price. Now Price, pass, 
Palmario, Palmario in the slot, still has it, back to Dieball. Dieball with the wrister, that one deflects into the netting, hits another puck, and we'll have a whistle and a face-off. Shots 13-2 Eagles, but we're still scoreless, Larry, 7-17 to play here in the first period. Again, folks, when you're here, there's, like I said, there's a lot of things to do. You get uh, chuck a puck, a buck a puck, and you got a chance to win a jersey, which uh, the guy to my left here, He's got about four or five of them. On Wednesday, the big boys across the way knocked the bucket down, but I don't see them here, so yeah, ooh. have a little better chance there. Of course, they buy 30 of them, so the odds are in their favor. <laughs> we need to up my uh, total. Now Casey's shot goes behind the net. Palmario up to Lamberti. Lamberti tried to put it in front. Broken up by the Express. Now Espinola clears it to the neutral zone. Fenema tried to get around, around Schwab. Nice good, defensive play. Good play by Schwab. You're right. Now here's Espinola at center. I should get the feeling, Laird, they're just trying to hang on at this point. Eagles have been all over them, but it's been Scott that's made the saves. Doucette with it. In his own zone. Now Doucette. Along the near boards. Picked up by Blair. Bouncing puck. Casey. Casey to Lamberti. Lamberti moves in, quick shot, save Scott, rebound in front, picked up by Doucette for the Express, and he'll clear it to center and shoot it into the Eagles zone. Espinola going for a line change. Now Puck back in the neutral zone. Casey avoids the hit. Now Casey has it. Casey to the net. Casey with a shot up high. Save there. Rebound goes along the near boards. Now Tharleson pinches in. Thomas with the puck for the Express in his own zone. With some speed, Thomas with the puck, still has it, chips it into the Eagles zone. Now here's Tharleson up to Casey. Mahalo over there for the Express. That's gonna be offside and well the face off outside the blue line, Larry, and while we have a moment, we can check the out of town okay. scoreboard. Blind River leading the Sioux Thunderbirds by a 2-1 count. That one midway through the first period in Elliott Lake. Leading Rayside Bell for 1-0. So uh, both those scores, obviously good news for the Thunderbirds. Yeah. No score here. 5.49 to play in this first period. Shots 14-2 in favor of the Sioux Eagles. Reynolds at the blue line. Backhands it in. I believe the Eagles are going to wear this Espinola team out by the third period. Yeah, you get that feeling. I mean, 12, that's hard to do. 12 skaters, that's not a lot in this league. No. Now here's Banser with it. Banser across the blue line to the net. Banser behind that door. Fanos with that shot hits the post. Fanos had a chance, but he hit the right post. And so a break for the Express. Now our Fanos on Reynolds. Here's Capasiolto. He had a poke checked away. Picked up by Espinola's Reynolds. Now our Fanos has it. Across the blue line. Way. Nice spin move. Gets it to Reynolds. And down the ice. Butcher will chase that one. If we have five minutes to play in this first period, still scoreless. Tharleton at center ice. He'll shoot it off the end boards. Go for a line change. Patterson with it for Espinola. Gets it up to Chuchuk. Now Chuchuk at center ice, shooting it into the eagle zone. Blair with it over to Die Ball. There was a stat in hockey time of possession. The Eagles would have a huge advantage. Yes, you're right. Here's Vitali with it. Vitali with some speed on the right wing side, trying to put it in front. Locking in. Stop that one. Now Saxon over to Die Ball at the point. Puts a quick shot. That goes wide. Puck goes along the near boards. Picked up by Rowe. Rowe just kept it in. Now Locking in with it. Express trying to clear it out of their zone. Patterson picks it up for Espinola. He'll just dump it back in. Puck taken there by Blair, and he oh. passes up to Rowe. Just goes off of his stick, otherwise he might have had a break. Now Puck shot back into the eagle zone. Die ball over to Butcher. Now Rowe still out there. He's been out there a while. He's probably going to go for a line change. He does. Now the Express have it. Shots 15-2 in favor of the Eagles. That one deflects out of play. It's going to be outside the blue line. With 3.42 to play here in this first period. Uh, Saxon uh, tipped it off. Out of play, so the faceoff will come outside. Eagles will be in Espinola tomorrow night. Our good friends from Espinola will have the call of that one on Hockey TV. And then Monday night, Eagles will be in Blind River as the Beavers. Hockey TV announcers will have that one 
And that potentially could be a very big game. The Eagles have two games left against the Beavers. And it's going to make life difficult if the Beavers can get some points out of the Thunderbirds for the Eagles. The Eagles are pretty much in a position where they're going to have to win those two games if they want to get third, in my opinion. Unless Wine River really uh, collapses, which I just don't see that happening. Not right now. They're heading 2-1 no. two, two, on the Thunderbirds in the Thunderbirds home rink. Now Schwab over to Butcher. Back to Schwab. Back on the near side, Butcher. Cross the blue line. Butcher skates it to center. Now across the blue line. Poke checked away. Price gets it back. Over to Tharaldson. Tharaldson up to Tackle. Tackle wraps it off the boards. Over to Chichuk. Now to Chuck, trying to clear the zone. Espinola oh, is going to get a power to, play. Yeah. As, uh, that was a, a roughing, high sticking, oh, whatever no, you want to call it. Interference Larry. against interference. Price. That's what he's going to get. And so Espinola sure. is going to go on the power play. 2.43 to play in this first period. We're still scoreless. So Espinola just with those two shots on net. Oh, they got a chance here now. Yep. They have a power play. The Eagles didn't do anything on uh, their two power plays. We'll see what Espinola can do. Just to starting the second period at Big Rapids. Fair State and the Lakers. Fair State still leading 1-0. Eagle penalty to number 20, Bobby Price. Two minutes, interference. So Price with the interference call. As Espinola on their first power play. Eagles have, or rather the Espinola Express had the puck at center ice. Thomas across the blue line. Now Thomas. As the Express try to set up this power play. Laukinen. Laukinen. Over to Fenema. Now on the near side. Thomas. Quick shot. That goes wide. Back to the point. Fenema. He'll just dump it down low for Chuck. Now Puckle on the near side. Thomas. On Tharlson. Now here's a chance for the Express. Fenema at the point. Shot. Gloved down by Barterson. No, Brancato. Or, excuse me, Brancato. He made that one look easy. Okay, both line changes for both teams right now. New power play unit, new penalty killing unit. Minute 13 left on the Espinola power play. 156 to play here in this first period. We are still scoreless. Fast first period. Yeah, it is. Face off one by the Eagles and shot down the ice. Crowd, a pretty good crowd here for it this is. one. It is, yeah. Larry said, especially on this side, seems to be a few more fans over on this side. We'll do our polar attendance challenge here in the second period. I'm going to get, no, you're going to guess the total, Larry. No, you are. That's right, I am. Now a puck goes out of play and hits another puck lodged in that netting. Right now our season series is tied. So something's got to give, Larry. Something's got to give. That's a, that's a, a movie or a song? I think so. Yeah. We Face off to the left of Scott. <laughs> trivia. Sure. We got trivia here. Yes, folks. you do. <laughs> Face off control by the Express still on the power play. Minute 30 left in the first period. 45 seconds left on the Express power play. Eagles control the puck. Butcher over to Blair. Now Blair back to Butcher. Eagles just want to waste some time here as they shoot it down the ice. That's a rolling puck. It yeah. rolled all the way down. It's got out of his net to play. It almost fumbled that one. Here's Mahalo. Gets it up ice. To Fenema. Fenema across the blue line. Picked up by the Express. Still have time on the power play. Hurley over to Chichuk. Now goes to the point Mahalo. Dumps it down to Hurley. Now Hurley edge of the far circle. With the puck. Ten seconds left on the power play. Hurley. Pass near side out of the reach of Patterson. Patterson loses the puck as the Eagles can't clear the zone, but they're back at full strength with 40 seconds to play here in the first. Now Tharaldson can't clear it. Patterson keeps it in. Now Chichuk passing it over, broken up by Rowe. Rowe with the puck. Try to get it to Price. He does. Price cross blue line shot, blocker save by Scott. Mahalo on the rebound for the Express. You fear feel if you're Espinola, Larry, you get out of this first period 0-0, you got to be loving yeah, life. Yeah, they really got to like that. Now here's Fenema. Breaks that play up on Price. 15 seconds to play in the first. Price uh, on his behind. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll have a face off with 11 seconds left as we have a little uh, pushing and shoving. I haven't seen much of that tonight, Larry. Of course, you're Espinola. The last thing you can do is have a player get in a fight and lose him for the game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think they're going to... No. They're just doing a little discussion here. 
And that'll bring the face off outside the express blue line. 11 seconds to play here in the first period. Eagles have controlled this period, but looking to be scoreless heading into the first intermission break. Tekel maybe with one last chance. He puts a shot on net, and that'll be it. Shot 17-3 in favor of the Eagles, but we're still scoreless here at Puller Stadium. Scott Nason back at Puller Stadium here on Hockey TV for Friday night. Hockey from Puller Stadium. Our score after one period of play. We don't have a score after one period of play. Well, we have a score, but we have no goal score. 0-0 between the Espinola Express and the Sioux Eagles. Shots on goal in that first period, 17-3 in favor of the Eagles. And you got a feeling in that period that Espinola was just trying to hold on, hold on. Well, they did. And they are still in this game. This is a team that only has 12 skaters that are dressed, but they're right in it, Larry. Uh, joining us, Larry Pazbon. And, uh, well, Paz, 0-0 after one. Your thoughts on the game so far? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, uh, Espinola's got to be happy what they did out there. Sure. They, they didn't get scored on. Uh, they had a, a, a they had a, some chances on that power play, uh, some erratic shooting, and uh, Eagles... Eagles, uh, well, the, the, I guess the, the story is Scott, Adam Scott in goal for Espinoli. He stopped 17, uh, and, and, and some of them were good scoring opportunities for the Eagles. Another thing is, though, the Eagles should have had more shots on goal. Puck was bouncing. They didn't pick up some rebounds out there. But Scott stood strong for the Espinola, and that's the difference right now. We'll out, see if this period does. Out of town scoreboard, Larry, after one period of play at the John Rhodes Community Center, it's still 2-1 Blind River. Over the Sioux Thunderbirds, 1-1 tie. After one at Elliott Lake between Rayside Belfour and Elliott Lake. Boy, that Wildcats team, Larry, playing good. If they were to win tonight, they'd be at 500. So that is a team nobody, I think, wants to play in the West Division right now. No, they're hot. 2-1 Cochran over Hurst. That one late in the second period. And Powassan leading French River by the score of 7-1. College hockey, the Lakers in pretty much a must-win situation. They're trailing 2-0 to Ferris State and the Sioux Greyhounds. They are not playing tonight. They'll play tomorrow night in Windsor. So here we go, the Eagles and Express. Eagles will be going right to left as seen on your television monitor. Again, if you want to tweet us during the game, tweet me at snason2013. Want to say uh, hello once again to Patty Lanning. I mentioned uh, on Twitter, thanks for watching from warm Arizona. She says, not so warm today, only in the 50s. They're freezing. 50s in Arizona? I didn't know that was possible, Larry. Well, maybe they're up in the mountains. Could be. No, I think they're in the in the warm parts there. And uh, coming up here, Larry, this period, we're going to have our attendance challenge as it's my turn to put up a total. We already have a couple people on oh, Twitter, yeah. our good friend Matt Pocket, who's all the way in Pickford, Michigan. He already put a guess. He's not even here. And uh, Josh Horn also has a guess. We'll talk to that. We'll talk about that here in a few minutes. Eagles... With the puck at center ice. Now Laukinen picks it up for the Express. Laukinen gets it in front. Now the Eagles with a the chance. There Price. It is. Oh, no, it hit the inside of the post and went out. I thought that went in. Holy smokes. Now a shot that goes wide. Bobby Price almost gave the Eagles a 1-0 lead, but that just hit the inside of the post and bounced out. Now the nice feature on Hockey TV is you can rewind and go back and look. So, Vicky, if you're watching back home and you have the rewind feature, let us know. I think that one did hit the post. I don't, didn't see a goal light go on. He's probably sleeping back there. <laughs> He's too busy talking. That's what he was doing. <laughs> and he missed it. <laughs> Face off to the left of goaltender Shane Brancato, who has just had to make three saves tonight. Adam Scott obviously been the busier of the two goaltenders. Eagles win the face off. Here's Barterson across the blue line. Barty with it. Barty tried to put it in front. Tackle couldn't get a shot off. Now Price over to tackle to Barterson a shot. That one broken up. As the Express with it. Brass at center ice. Chuck had a chance. Now here's Price with it for the Eagles. Price. He gets knocked down. No call. Now Puckle on the doorstep. Over on the near side. That's Way. Now Palmario tried to put it in front. Broken up by Reynolds. Now Reynolds at center ice. Still has it. Had it poke checked away. 
Here come the Eagles. Blair with it up to Paul oh, Mary. There we that's go. That's a hook right there. That's <laughs> that's a no brain call right there, Larry. That's about as obvious as you're going to see. And so the Eagles uh, tripping, will, will go on their second power play with 18.30 to play here in this second period. That was a dramatic hook. It was, yeah. If signal. You're, <laughs> you're going to get a penalty. I guess that's the way there to do it. it. There you go. <laughs> and so the Eagles will be on the power play. Looking to score the first goal of this contest. Oh, I thought they had the first one there. I don't know. Face off to the left of Mr. Scott. Espinola wins the face off. Number eight, Tyler Barassa. Two minutes hooking. So Barassa with the hooking call. He goes on the power play. Butcher gets it up to Casey. Now Casey. Over on the near side to Palmario. Palmario, nice move. Now Palmario over to Price. Price over to Saxton along the far boards. He was trying to set up the power play. Saxton back to Butcher. Butcher now lost the puck. Picked up by Fenema. Now Butcher behind the net. Butcher with the puck. Now up ice to Palmario. Palmario with it. Top of the near circle. Eagles set up the power play. Saxton lost the puck. Now Reynolds picks it up and, well, they shoot it down the ass. Eagles power play, Larry, not getting the job done tonight. No, it isn't. That's for sure. They're, they're waiting to set up. I think I thought they should have moved in when Palmario had the puck. I thought he should have went in for a shot instead of waiting at that point. Now puck at center ice. Price with it. Price across the blue line. Polk checked away. Saxton there. Set just kind of shot it out of the way, and once again, Espinola shoots it down the ice. Eagles having a hard time holding on to the puck. Here's Tharlson. Across the blue line for the Eagles. Pass. Taken there by the Eagles. Now Tekel has it behind the net. Eagles still have 25 seconds remaining on the power play. Tekel to row. Back to Tekel moving in. Now in the slot. Tharlson shot. Easily gloved down by Scott. He makes his 20th save of the night. Good setup, but good, good save by Scott. He read that all the way too. 20 seconds left on the Eagles power play. 16.50 to play in the second period. Still scoreless. This is interesting. Vitali went in and took uh, Tekel out of the face. Yeah, and he won it. So. Now here's Rowe over to Tharlson. Back to Rowe. Backhands it over to Tekel. Now Tekel to Vitali. Vitali behind the net. Tally looking in front, puts it in front. Shot didn't quite get through by Tharlson, and that'll do it for the Eagles' power play. So, Eagles 0 4 2 on the extra man advantage. Roll with it across the blue line. Roll gets around a couple. Poke checked away by Patterson. Now, Tackle along the end boards, broken up by Doucette. Barterson, Barterson tried to put it in front. Now, Tackle back there over in the far corner. Espinola still with just three shots on goal, but no goals yet so far. Now Barterson in front shot, save. Poke checked away by Chuck. Now Tekel gets it right back, moves into the slot, backhand shot, didn't get much on it, saved by Scott. Now Tekel, back to the point, Blair, quick shot, and a goal! That's it this time. I'm not sure if uh, Barterson might have gotten that one. Pretty sure that was Vitali, Larry, as I thought he got his stick on it on the shot yeah. by Blair. 15.53 to play in the first period, and on their 23rd shot, the Eagles get their first goal. They lead 1-0. Eagles needed that goal because they got to get, now we, Now they say, okay, we, we got the first one, now let's get some more. They needed that one big time. We'll get the call from Bob St. Peter, but I believe that one will go to Vitali. I believe you're right. Eagle goal, scored by number 14, Gianni Vitale. Assist, number 19, Christian Bartison, and number 7, Brendan Blair. So Bartison and Blair get the assist, one nothing in favor of the Eagles. Got another broken stick, just went off the ice on the Eagles bench. Boy. Fix your stick tonight, Rob, you guys got... Couple, you got a goal stick and a hockey stick out there now. Shot gets blocked in front at the point shot. That one blocked as well. Eagles with the chance. Here's Orfanos. Orfanos got around one. He gets knocked down from his back. Puts a shot on net. Save. Now here's Banser. Banser back to Butcher. Butcher puts a shot on. That one deflects wide. Don't think Scott saw that one. Now Schwab behind the net. Just out of the reach of Orfanos. Way with it. 
As Espinola trying to clear the zone. Kept in by the Eagles. Now that one will squirt to center ice as Schwab shoots it back in. Eagles have to clear and they do. 15 minutes to play in this first period. Or Look second period, 1-0. Mm-hmm. Coming off the bench there, you almost had a breakaway. In that was favor number 19, Reynolds. Of the Sioux Eagles. Now puck in the Eagle zone. Thomas behind the net. Taken by Dieball. Dieball up to Banser. Banser, center ice to Capasiolto. No, Capasiolto got around a couple. Cuts a shot. That one goes wide. Scott come out of his net. He doesn't give him much room to shoot at when he's out that far. No, Capasiolto. Don't check the way. And Scott's going to hold on to that one with 14.27 to play in this second period. Well, Larry, I'm going to go a little bit early tonight. I'm looking around, and we did have a Student of the Month ceremony that happened here between the first and second period once again, not including any nascent children, I might add. <laughs> Throw that out there. <laughs> hey, they, listen, they got a good percentage going right there. They're, imagine they get picked once out of all this time. Uh, you they, you would know, think. I'm yeah. calling collusion. <laughs> Seems to be a popular uh, term these days. We'll get to the attendance challenge here in our next break as Espinola clears it down the ice. And I think we're going we're gonna to have a penalty here, Larry. I think this is going to uh, go on the Eagles. Might be an interference call or a trip. It will be uh, a, trip. a trip. So Espinola will go on their second power play. So, Larry, this is the time of the night where... We play our attendance challenge. What I'm going to do, it's my turn to pick a number. And you, sir, along with folks on Twitter, can play. Just tweet me, snason2013, and you're going to say either higher or lower. So I'm looking around tonight, Larry. Pretty good crowd. I will say for those at home, there are more people on this side of the ice than on that side. And I'm going to say my number on the next whistle. Number 16, Thomas Dyball. Two minutes, tripping. Tripping the call on die ball. Espinol on their second power play. Shots 23-4, Eagles. Now Vitali gets it up to Rowe. Rowe tried to get it back for Vitali, but that one did not work. Now back into the Eagle zone. That goal by Vitali. Not quite sure it's not on the board yet here, so we'll... So tripping the call on die ball. Now Rowe with a nice move. Rowe, he's got Vitali with him. Rowe, Vitali, oh, pass just out of his reach. Otherwise, it's 2 nothing there. Here's Patterson with it for Espinola. Patterson across the blue line. Patterson over along the far boards. Over to Butcher. Butcher in the far corner. Again, Espinola on the power play. The Eagles come off the puck and shoot it down the ice. Eagles got to hurry because they got line changing they're doing there. Laukinen up to Chachuk. Chachuk over to Patterson. Patterson with the shot. Brancato with the save and he'll hold. So Larry, I'm going to say we're going to have 611 fans here tonight. 6-1-1. 6-1-1. I better mark that down. And I will say on Twitter we have one that is slightly lower and one that is slightly higher. So I kind of split the difference on that one. The advantages of having social media. One of these days, Larry, you're going to have to get your own Twitter page. You know that, right? Yep. Okay. I'm, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> just no Snapchat. Nobody over 30 should have Snapchat. That, I'm just saying that. My opinion only. Now that one deflected back into the Espinola zone as Scott comes out of his net. Passes it up to Fenema. Now here's Thomas. 30 seconds left on the express power play. Near side. It was Mihalo. Now the Eagles will... Clear the zone as Doucette shoots that one back in. Espinola's going to have to touch up onside. Puck goes back to center. Mahalo chases that in. Now behind the net, Thomas. Ten seconds left on the power play. Thomas up to Chuchuk. Now Chuchuk across the blue line. Chuchuk over to Doucette. Doucette winds, fires, save. No, oh, and a goal! And Espinola has tied this game at one. I don't know if that's going to be on the power play, Larry. It was right about as that expired. It was real close. I didn't quite see, but the puck trickles in. And we have a 1-1 game with 12.06 to play here in the second period. That put Espinola in the game now, Sure too. did. I think Brancato would love to have that one back. He made a stop on it, and it just had enough juice to keep on going, and it just roll, slid yeah. c- across uh, the goal line. Almost in slow motion. We'll get the call from Bob St. Peter. We have a 1-1 tie here at Puller Stadium. 
Oh, at the end boards. Had to be quick on that save, Larry. As Eagles almost fired right back. Still waiting for the call on the Espinola goal. Probably a couple of names that Bob can't pronounce. <laughs> 750. Wow. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're mic'd up to Bob. All right, well, Larry, we have two that are saying over and two that are saying under, but they're all pretty close. This is going to be an interesting one. It is. I, I, <laughs> a quick shot. That Express one. Oh, there he goes. Scored by number 15, Bryce Patterson. Assist, number two, Jacob Desette. And number four. I don't have a four. <laughs> I don't have a four. <laughs> <laughs> Time and a goal. Seven, a, 54. We're not even going to count that. We'll try to figure out who the second assist went to on that one. Yeah. Play goal. Oh, they called Scored it a power play. Yeah, I thought it Patterson. was real close. Assist number two, Dusset. The time of right, so they only say Dusset. We'll check the uh, official score here as it moves along. We're tied at one. Shots twenty-four-six in favor of the Eagles. Now here's Casey with the puck. Casey across the blue line. Casey. Wow. With Eagles, the puck. Eagles dodge a bullet there with too many men on the ice. Puck in front of the Eagles bench. Lamberti keeps it in. Now Lamberti kept it in about three times. Nice play. Lamberti with it. Lamberti still has the puck. Now moves in. Lamberti with the shot. That one hit way in front. Goes right back to the express. Here they come. Shot that goes wide. And Espinola going for a line change. Makes it really tough with the short bench when in the second period when you have the long line change. Now here's Palmerio with it. Palmerio with the shot. And Scott made the save. Rebound goes behind the net. Casey over to Palmerio. Now that one poke checked away by Chichuk. Here come the express. Chichuk with Fenema. Chichuk with the shot. Brancato makes the save. Rebound along the near corner. Now that one puts through the slot. Over to Orfanos. Orfanos pass. Didn't get through. Picked up by the Express. Laukinen drops it for Fenema. His shot. Gloved down by Brancato. And all of a sudden it's Espinola, Larry, with a good few minutes of play. Yes, it is. With 10.04 to play here in this second period. Okay, folks, again, when you come here, especially next week, uh, military family uh, parents night, uh, you want to have something to eat, go down to concession. they got chicken wings, chicken fritters, onion rings, french fries. Poutine, uh, what else we got down there? Um, Chicken wings. I said that. Oh. You're, you're not listening. No, never, well, I, I am listening, but I'm, yeah. but I'm also oh, yeah, multitasking, yeah, yeah. Larry. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to interact oh. with our fan wow. base. Speaking of that, Larry, want to say uh, Vicky there, we talked about hopefully we'll see her next week, and she's, she can't get away, but she's watching. Now, she's lying to me right here, right now. I'm going to call her out oh, on oh, this. Oh, oh. She says, by the way, I have a Snapchat. I am way over 30. I keep in touch with my kids on it because <laughs> it's what they're on mostly. Vicky, you're lying. There's no way you're over 30. There you go. Okay. That's right. I don't know the lady. <laughs> so, judging by her picture, there's no way she's over 30. Okay. There you go. So Now here's Laukinen moving in. Laukinen with the shot. Glove save, Brancato. Laukinen on the rebound is. and a goal. There it is. You so can see it Espinola coming. with a 2-1 to one lead. As that one's going to go, I believe, to number 25, Jackson Heacock. And, boy, the Eagles... Up against it now, trailing two to one to a team that's won one game all year. Credit Espinola there. They're playing hard out there tonight. I, I said that before the game. What have they got to lose? Yeah. You know, and they're going out there. Well, I'm watching the coaches there, and uh, I'm, re I'm really curious on the, uh, the, yeah. the gentleman that, with the suit that's just standing right there. I mean, he's very actively involved. He's, he's keeping these guys in it. He's doing a good job uh, of it. I was looking down there, too. He's talking to them when they yeah. come off the ice, you know, and explaining things to them or saying what, what can you do better or a good good play you're doing some good play here in the second period 25 jackson heacock assist number 18 henry lachlan and number eight tyler barassa the time of the goal 10 16. lachlan and barassa get the assist it's 2-1 espinola and they want more chuck across the blue line chuck with it on the near boards to Chuck, to Thomas, Thomas behind the net, Thomas with the puck, Wildcats, or excuse me, the Express getting out shot 25-9 in this game, but they lead 2-1, now here's Price catching up to the puck, 
Now Fenema dumps him. Fenema has it. Fenema across the blue line. Passes it to Hurley. Now along the near corner. Thomas to Laukinen. Gloved down by Hurley. Kind of batted it forward. He gets knocked down for his efforts. Now here's Price off the boards to Barterson. No one broken up there by the Express. Now Price shoots it along the boards. Rolls over to the far side. Butcher pinches in. Now here's Patterson. Bucket center ice. Tackle loses it to Patterson. And here come the Express again. Hurley. Hurley, poke checked away by Butcher. Now Butcher puts a backhand. Oh, they does. Too many men on the ice there. Now Patterson dumps it back in. Butcher up to Price. Price off the boards, trying to find Lamberti. Kept down by her by Patterson. His shot. Brancato makes the save. And well, Larry, we talked about it there on Wednesday about, you know, you look at these two teams on paper. Eagles should have an easy four points. Well, nothing easy about tonight. They're actually trailing two to one. Yes, they are. Uh, we give our media timeout now, I think. I think so. So, uh, Larry, oh. you're a media conglomerate. That made any sense. Tell us about some of our great Swigel sponsors. I could do that. Okay, we have the Palace Saloon, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wicked Sisters, Alpha Bar, and Antlers Restaurant. We also have CSB, Central Savings Bank. There's one in Christmas. Christmas? At Christmas, there's one there. St. Ignace, Sioux, Michigan, and Hessel, and Manistique. They got them all over the place. They'll gladly take your money and invest it for you or hold on to it. Ford Sioux Motors, Kiwain Casinos, MR Auto Body, Neville Superette, Subway. I think Subway is uh, the power player penalty killer sponsor tonight also. Try On Solutions, Pro Shop, Big Bear, Aaron's, and Newberry Bottling. Just to name a few... Out of town scoreboard, Larry, 3-2 now. Blind River over the Sioux Thunderbirds. That one midway through the second period in Sioux, Ontario. Still 1-1 between Elliott Lake and Rayside Belfour. That one in the first period. And the Lakers now losing 3-0 to Ferris State. So they may be kissing their playoff hopes goodbye yeah. with the loss tonight. Face off. Here we go. Scored by number 17, Logan Fenema. So Logan Fenema, the first goal for the Express. So they changed the goal from Patterson to Fenema. And still didn't give a second assist out there. They're saying, they're saying number four. There's no number four. There's no, no number 14. There's no number 24. <laughs> there's no number four out there, period. Maybe Bob's playing Sudoku down there. Don't know. Now the Express with the puck. Shots 25-10 in favor of the Eagles, but they trail 2-1. to one. Espinola, 149-1-1 one one on the season, but you wouldn't know it watching this game. No. Now here's a chance for Barassa. That shot deflects wide. Eagles really on their heels right now. They're going to have to get something going. Here's Palmario chasing the puck. Speaking of the Palmario, we'll have to, on uh, the next break, I need a favor from Rob. I talked to your uh, distant relative there with John Palmario. Uh, David? Yeah, and he wanted to get a close-up of the gentleman there on the tables, Rob. Maybe when the puck goes to that end and we have another break. I don't know if it's proof to their... Uh, spouses that they're actually at this game or not but that's what he wanted there so there you go so what do we got there we got john palmario there on the right not those two no nope. nope. go move over there rob there he is and then uh your uh, relative there uh, larry david girardi yep david girardi and, and next to him is uh, uh billy duquette okay and his uh, lady friend okay lady friend very B good billy was uh the goaltender for the sioux indians okay Way back on the, when Paul Terrio was first Very coaching. Very good. Him. So thank you, Rob. Uh, they wanted to get a... Uh... There's their alibi. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was that. But <laughs> I'm really at the puller. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Eagles with the puck on the power play. Larry, where we did all that, Espinola ended up getting a penalty somewhere. I didn't see what happened. We'll try to get the call from Bob here. Eagles on their third power play. Vitali dumps it down low, now tries to get it back. Picked up by Heacock and shot down the ice. Brent Cotto out of his net. He's got to be careful. As he plays it along the near boards to row. It's me, hello. Two minutes. Interference. Time of the penalty, 13. So Leonidas Mahalo gets the penalty. Interference. He goes on the power play. Another minute 20. 
Barson behind the net. Over to Vitali. Now Vitali. Backhands it along the near boards. Barterson, Barterson, dumps it down low to Vitali. Vitali with it. To Rowe, over to Tharaldson. No, Tharaldson loses the puck. Reynolds picks it up and shoots it down the ice. So Larry, the Eagles. It. That's it, they're playing around with the puck too much. The Eagles have to shoot the puck. They're looking for the perfect setup. No, it's not working, so let's, let's start getting some pucks at the net. No, Reynolds. Took a dive off the bench there. He had to jump right back on it. Eagles on the power play. Tackle with the puck. Eagles just look a step off right now. Now here's Tackle. Tackle behind the net. Now over the far corner. Still 30 seconds left on the power play. Tackle. Pass oh, goes outside. out of the zone to Butcher. Over to Casey. Casey on the near side. Butcher. Butcher shoots it in. Over to Saxton. Saxton over there. Now taken away by the Express and shooting it down the ice. When we talk about the unpredictability of the West Division, Larry, and usually we don't have Espinola in the mix, we talk about the other four teams. This, you just never know this league this year, yeah, do you? Yes, you're, you're right, yeah. Now here's, they came to play tonight. They sure did. Now here's Price with it. Price puts it in front of shot. Save, there, rebound, oh. almost another own goal. Price gets a rebound, shot, save again by Scott. He lost his helmet. They're going to have to blow this one down, and they yeah. do. As obviously it's not 1945 and you can't play without your helmet. Back in your day, you could, Larry. Yes. <laughs> Until they start saying, oh, I'm glad I wore one one time when I was playing. Yeah, Ooh. boy. I don't, what was wrong with you people back then? There then? Was, then there was another was, time. Was I it wish the I war had that it, war that affected you back then? I mean, was it just. Well, we were fighting in the neighborhood. Yeah, that war. <laughs> you, you couldn't go past a certain area of town. What do we got here? <laughs> we won't read that one on Twitter. I think that's pretty funny, though. Thanks, Vicky. You got a good laugh. <laughs> Attaboy, Jim. <laughs> now it's shot and it's saved there by Scott. It's to Heacock. Heacock shoots it back into the Eagle zone. On the end boards, 4.15 to play in the second period. Two Espinola goals has given them a 2-1 to one lead. Capasioto gets it up to Orfanos. Orfanos with it. Orfanos... Lost the puck, picked up there by Palmeiro, now Arfanos behind the net. Arfanos still has it, moves to the far circle, now puts it in front, deflection by Quinn, that one goes behind the net. Quinn with it again, to Palmeiro, Capasiolto. Capasiolto puts it in front, Scott with the save, that one trickles through the crease, over to Quinn. Quinn over there, now Hurley picks it up. Hurley, at center ice, Broken up by Capasiolto. Puck taken by Hurley. 3.30 to play in the second period. 2-1 Express. I don't think many people had that score line at this stage of the game. No one. And that'll be an icing call, and you would expect that it would be a pretty interesting locker room in the second period, Larry, for the Sioux Eagles if this score holds up or it gets yeah. worse. Yeah, you're right. It was just not, we talked about it, Larry. It's, it's hard to get up for this kind of game when you have all these other games you get up for, including Wednesday night. You're playing the first place team at home. You win 5 nothing. You look great out there. Now you're playing a team that's won one game and you're down 2-1 to one when you're fighting for points and playoff positions. This is a good move. Eh? He wants to change his stick. You get a little break. You can't make a change on the ice, so you go and change your stick, and you, uh, you, get, you give your team a little break like that. Good thinking by the Espinola players. Yeah. Face off, one by the Eagles, die ball shot to flex in front, save Vitale, another chance, another save, Scott. Made 31 saves tonight. Now shot back into the Eagles end, Tharaldson shoots that one down, Rowe tries to catch up to it. Doucette over on the far boards. Again, Espinola, just 12 skaters tonight. Now here's Saxton with it. His pass doesn't connect. Eagles just look a little out of it right now. Thomas at center ice, broken up by Dieball. Now Dieball chips it ahead, just out of the reach of Rowe. Doucette picks it up. Doucette will clear it to center. Dieball will shoot it right back into the express zone. 2.40 to play in this second period. Espinola 
Scored two goals here in this second stanza. Now a chance in front out of the reach of Vitali. Blair puts a quick shot. Save Vitali out of the air. No goal. They're going to call that a high stick. And Lariat, again, I think that one was above the crossbar. That's kind of the, uh, the angle, if you will, as far as a high stick. That one did look a little high. I think the official got that right. Okay, yeah. I, I had my head down. I was just looking at something on my stat, a stat sheet here. Now they're discussing it with the officials. Uh, you don't see too much argument from the Eagles bench. You know, on hockey TV, you can go back and replay. Just let us know what you think on that one. So I didn't see how the high sticks, so they got to be saying it was a high stick from a shot from their own player, then you high stick. To, so that's why they're arguing about where the faceoff is going. Eagles thought the faceoff should have stayed down there because the high sticking actually would have came outside the blue line, but they'd taken it all the way down in the defensive zone of the Eagles, so it must have been a player, player to player high stick. 226 to play in the second period, 2 1 in favor of Espinola. Eagles win the faceoff. Butcher. Don't forget, Larry, 6 11 is my uh, total yes, that's guess what I was looking attendance. At. <laughs> and so you have about two minutes to. You picked a good number. I did. Uh, I will say that there have been some other guesses, Larry. As uh, Stephen Orfano says lower, 589. Okay. Daniel Clark says higher, 643. Josh Horn says lower, 585. And Matt Pocket, who's not here, says higher, 623. So it's all over the map tonight. Good luck. Face off, controlled by the Eagles in their own zone. Blair over to Butcher. Now back to Blair. Blair's pass to Saxton. Saxton up to Vitali. Two minutes to play here in the second period. Vitali across the blue line with a couple moves. Now Vitali gets the puck back. Vitali dumps it for Saxton. Saxton centering chance. That one out of the reach of Vitali. Eagles almost look like they're just trying to be too fancy, Larry. Yes, I agree with you on that because that's just said they're moving even on the power play. That's now all they're a, doing. Here's a chance in front by Thomas. That one stopped by Butcher. Rebound goes to Vitali at center ice. I'm going to say higher. All right, so higher is the guess by Mr. Pazabon. We'll get the total here in the second intermission now the Ch Espinola with a chance Thomas with the shot save Brancato and Thomas goes down after the shot he's slow getting up didn't see what happened there he does get up goes to the bench now here's Rowe with it Rowe nice move Rowe with a sh quick shot save there Scott rebound goes to Chuchuk minute 10 left in the second period Larry we mentioned Espinola would be pretty happy after one being uh, just a scoreless tie well if they can get out of the second period up one they're going to be ecstatic going into that locker room you bet so we have a face-off in the Eagles zone as while well, we have a moment. Let's check the Thunderbirds Blind River score. Thunderbirds now on top of Blind River, four to three, Larry. Wow. So that's good news, but Eagles got to do their part. They got to get two points here. Elliott Lake has gone up on race side two to one. So the scoreboard going the Eagles way, Larry, at least elsewhere. Yes. Not so much here. Now here's Price with it. Mahalo rides him off the play. Eagles pick up the puck. It'd be a big goal if they could score one here in the last 50 seconds. Now here's Price with it. Price back to the point. Tharlson with the shot. That one's wide. Schwab on the rebound. He'll pass it over to Tackle. Now Tackle with it. 35 seconds. Tackle with the shot. Blocker save. Barterson puts it in front. Scott stops that one. Goes behind the net to Barterson. 30 seconds here in the second. Shots 34-12 Eagles. Puck still behind the net. Mahalo. Now Price tried to pick up that puck. It goes to the far corner. 20 seconds to play. In the second period, picked up by Way. Now oh, Reynolds will just wrap that off the boards behind the net to Mahalo. Mahalo passes it over to Way. 10 seconds. As the Eagles will keep that in. Keacock puts it behind the net. So a disappointing second period for the Sioux Eagles as they have a quick chance there at the end, but that one will not get through as they gave up two goals in the second period and the Team with one win on the season in 51 games is leading the Sioux Eagles by the score of 2-1. to one. We'll be back with the third period here on Hockey TV. Scott Nason, Larry Pazabon back at Polar Stadium. And surprise, surprise, Larry, the Espinola Express lead the Sioux Eagles by the score of 2-1. to one. We were scoreless after the first period of play. The Eagles got on the board first, and then Elliott, or excuse me, Espinola with two goals. Before we get to the details, thoughts on the... Second period in the game in general. Well, the game in general, I thought, first of all, I said after the first period, Scott is a key member of that team out there, the goaltender for uh, Espinola. He's a uh, stop 34. Uh, the other thing is, I, I thought the Eagles would come on strong in the second period. 
to me, they're, they're, they're holding on to the puck too long. They're make, trying to make the, the perfect play, the perfect pass, and it's not working. They got to get out there and start shooting. Although they have 34 shots, they got to start shooting some more. They got to, they, they had power plays with zero for four, zero for three or four on a power play. Sometimes they didn't even get a shot on goal. So that's, that's what kind of power play is that? You got to be out here tonight. Now they have to dig, they have to look themselves. I don't know what the coach is saying to them in the dress room, but the players have to look at themselves and say, listen, this is a bottom place team. We're better than what uh, we're showing out here for two periods. Let's go out and win this period and win it big, and we'll take this game home with us. Recapping the scoring in that second period, Larry, the Eagles got on the board first. Gianni Vitale with his seventh goal of the season with assists from Christian Barterson and Brendan Blair to make it 1-0. First goal for Espinola scored at the 7.54 mark of the period. They did change that goal to Logan Fenema. Assist from Isaac Chichuk and add one there, Larry, Larry to uh, right, Chichuk's the added assist. So add an assist to him. Number they 11. also gave an assist to Duquette to make it 1 1. And then Jackson Heacock scored his second goal of the season with assists from Henry Laukinen and Tyler Brassa. And that's where we sit right now. The Espinola Express with a 2 1 lead over the Sioux Eagles. Shots on goal right now 34 12 in favor of the home team. And, well, Larry, all the other results are going the Sioux Eagles' way as far as things they wished would happen. Well, right now they are happening. The Thunderbirds have exploded, and they lead Blind River 6-3. to three. That one late in the second period. And Elliott Lake is leading Rayside Bell for 3-1 to one after 2. So the other games are going the Eagles' way, but the Eagles got to do their part. they got to get two points here if they want to finish any higher than fourth and right now you do not want to play Elliott Lake as Rayside Balfour is finding out as the Thunderbirds found out as the Eagles found out this Elliott Lake team means business right now yeah they're they're they're, they're out here they're saying listen we're, we're gonna we can't make a fourth we got fifth we got a playoff spot and they want to go into the playoffs they're hot right now Laker hockey trailing Ferris State three to one with about seven minutes to play in the third period and Larry I tweeted out our attendance challenge results as I put the guess of 611 attendance, we had some that said higher, some that said lower. You, sir, said higher. What's our final attendance tonight? 616. Ugh, five. <laughs> Don't I get like participation points? No, you want those ribbons, eh? That's right. Yeah, those exactly. are terrible your, participation. I, I agree 100%. Yeah, so. so Larry's up one, and we'll do it again and next Friday as the Eagles will take on Blind River. The Eagles have a lot to do here as they trail by the score of 2-1. to one. As there, there is no spread. Bob, Rob's oh, the spread. We got spread point spreads. I like no, it. No, we're not doing that. So congratulations, Larry, to the winners besides you. Matt Pocket, our good friend from the radio, wasn't even here, and he was the closest of anybody. And uh, one of the newest Twitter uh, followers, <laughs> Humongous. 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 So there you go. Thanks, you for playing. He guessed 654. Uh, ironically, he's a cousin of mine. I don't know if you knew that there, but... Now, now here I'm going to say this is this is what you're going to see a lot of I think in this period here, Espinola, they're going to clear the zone. They may get a lot of icing calls against them, but they're going to say we can de- keep yeah. it, dump it out, dump it out, and stop them from staying in our zone. And again, we'll see if uh, fatigue sets in. Now the Eagles with a chance of shot. Scott with the save on Lamberti. Shots 35-12 in favor of the home team, but they trail two to one. Here's Espinola with it. Heacock avoids the hit from Palmario. Now Palmario. Passes it off the far boards to Butcher. Butcher now flips that one up high. Bounces to Laukinen. Now Laukinen's long pass, and that's going to be an icing call, and so that'll keep the players on the bench, and we'll have a face-off back in the express zone. I'm going to try and keep track of the icings in this now. That's the second one in this period. There has been a lot of icings. We need some... We need a oh, calculator? No. <laughs> Some scrap paper. Oh, everything scrap here, paper. I, everything yeah, I have you're here very, is valuable. You're very meticulous <laughs> with this binder of yours. Yeah, the yeah. Pod. Now here's Price with a shot. Misses the net. Bouncing puck. Barterson shoots it wide. Now the Eagles with it. That one shot back to center. Schwab with the puck up to Price. Price avoids the hit. Now taken there by There's the Express. Icing. And yeah, they may have... Uh, That's the third. A few icings here. Again, short bench. Only 12 skaters for the Sioux Eagles, or for the Express, rather. Thanks, Rob. But it hasn't affected them as of yet. As they lead by the score of 2-1, these teams will be in Espinola tomorrow night. We'll have the game on hockey TV, and then the Eagles will be in Blind River on Monday. 
Barterson with the puck for the Eagles. Now here's Tackle over at the far circle. Back to the point, Tharleson. Tharleson shot, deflects there off an Espinola player. Patterson clear to center. Tackle in his own zone. Schwab. Schwab over to Tharleson. Now Tharleson, nice pass to Tackle. Tackle over on the far side. Now Tackle tried to put it in front. That one hits off the goaltender and goes back to center ice. Blair up to Barterson. Now Patterson with the puck. Espinola with it. Out That's of another of Thomas. Nope. Well, that'll be a shot on goal, Larry. The first yeah. of the period. Blair with it. Brendan Blair, number seven, gets it up to Vitale. He scored the only goal tonight for the Sioux Eagles. Puck taken there by Mahalo. He'll clear it to center for the Express. Thomas will shoot it in. Espinola with just one victory on the season. Looking to knock off the, the Eagles and pull off the huge upset. Die ball. At center ice, shoots it in. Scott stops it behind his net. He's been the story here tonight. 34 saves so far. Now Espinola at center ice. Reynolds, nice move. Reynolds across the blue line. That's going to be offside. And so that'll bring the face off outside the Eagles' blue line with 17-16 to play here in the third period. Okay, for a couple more sponsors, we have uh, Salon C, Midwest Strategy, Century 21, and Guido's Pizza. Hey, listen, did you... Uh Get anything close or get in the barrel and chuck a puck? No. A couple ones were in the ballpark, but not quite. I'm slumping, Larry. Uh -oh. I think it's been since November since I put one in. Now a shot and a glove save there by Brancato, and he'll hold. That's interesting. You remember I was telling you, like, uh, he didn't have to freeze that puck. He could have dropped it. Or Vitaly was right there. Uh, we'll see what happens on the faceoff here. Face off to the left of Brancato. Vitale to take the draw now. One by the Eagles. Tharleson over in the far corner. Gets it up to Saxton. Saxton, nice pass. Vitale at center ice. Now across the blue line. Vitale, nice move. Lost the puck. Mahalo picks it up. Saxton over there. Saxton and Mahalo. Now Butcher, quick shot. That one blocked by Doucette. Goes to Reynolds at center ice for the Express. He'll just dump it down. Espinola goes for a line change. All right, now, that last, excuse me, the last play there, their forwards are right on top of the Eagles' defense inside the blue line. They're not letting the points take a pass. Well, here's Fenma across the blue line. Shot, Brancato kind of juggled that one to make the save. And, well, Larry doesn't seem to uh, see any effects of fatigue so far with Espinola tonight. They're fighting hard out there. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're, they're doing a good job for uh, 12 skaters. Nice little uh, between periods touch there, Larry, with the uh, gentleman from the Coast Guard re-enlisting at center ice. That was uh, very yes. nice. Yeah, really. I never did one of those ceremonies. I was just in for one enlistment. One and out. One and out, that's right. Five years, five and done. I extended a year to go overseas. Good move on my part. That was fun. Now here's the Eagles with it, trailing by one. Orfanos across the blue line. Orfanos with a shot. That one misses. Goes all the way back to center ice. Blair over to Schwab. Schwab shoots it in. Scott gloves it down, holds. As we're going to face off in the Espinola end. There's a 50-50 draw here, folks, too. So you come up, you can spend a dollar here, a dollar there, and you got chances to win 50-50. Uh, lucky program, a dollar. Uh, chuck a puck, a dollar. Beer's a little more. Yeah. And the wine coolers, too. Four minutes left in Big Rapids. Lakers still losing three to one. A loss, and it's going to be tough. Now a shot and a save there by Scott, and he'll hold. Good shot by uh, Orfanos there. But Scott is he he's shutting the door. on. He wanted to let one in, but he's been shutting the door on the others. Face off one by the Eagles. Die ball back to Tharleson. Quick shot. Save Scott. Rebound goes to Laukinen. Now Laukinen along the far boards. Eagles pick up the puck. Banser. Banser tried to get it to Quinn. Laukinen with it. Orfanos falls down. Gets back up. Behind the net. Tried to find Quinn. He's wide open in front. Couldn't get it to him. Now Orfanos reverses course. Puck goes along the near boards. Tharleson. And he'll lose the puck because that one will go back down to the eagle zone. Shots 38-15 in favor of the home team. Die ball with it. Die ball behind the net. Die ball skates it in front. 
Center ice will shoot it in. Eagles go for a line change. Scott behind the net. Over to Chuck. Chuck with it. Chuck. Drink wide. Mahalo intercepted by Palmario. Mahalo. Can't clear it. Palmario keeps it in. Now Palmario with a couple good moves. Gets knocked down. Picked up in front. Casey. Shot save. Rebound. Lambert. Another save. And we're going to have a whistle. Got it. I think that's going to be a penalty on Espinola, Larry, but the Eagles had the puck when they blew the whistle. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure that one out too, yeah. Are they going to call it against the Eagles? It's a no. tripping, tripping penalty. It's going to go on Mahalo. I was curious that they blew the whistle when they did, but the Eagles get the power play with 14.50 to play here in the second period. They got a score on this one now. I shouldn't say they got to, but it's, you know, changed things around here. Eagles win the faceoff. Back to Rowe on Rowe, defense. Rowe at the blue line with a quick shot. Blocker saves Scott. Over to Barterson. Barterson behind the net to tackle. Tackle with it in front. Shot there and it a goal. Is. Christian Barterson has tied this game at two on the power play with 14.36 to play in the third period. Well, we've seen that a lot this year. Larry Teckle from Barterson, Barterson from Teckle, and those two connect again. Yeah, that was a good goal. But they, I tell you, the Eagles needed that. And it's tripping. A time of the penalty, 5 so That's 10. the penalty call. Mihello off for tripping at 5 a 10. So for back, the on, uh, Larry, or back on, Bob, because the penalty has expired. We'll get the goal call from... Mr. St. Peter, as that one will hit the rail and go to center ice. Reynolds across the blue line. Now Laukinen at center ice. Laukinen's pass over the far boards. Now chipped in by Chichuk. Butcher over to tackle. Now Blair over to tackle. Tackle behind the net. Tackle with it, center ice. Across the blue line. Now behind the net, Scott stops it. Tackle in front, goes back to Butcher. Butcher. 19, Christian Bardison. Assist number 14, Diani Vitale. And number 21, Nick Tackle. So Vitale and Tackle get the assist. We're tied at two now. Here's Tackle over to Bardison. In shot, and a goal! Oh. Well, if once wasn't enough, Larry, twice as Christian Barterson once again gets the feed from Nick Teckel and the Eagles. Two quick goals have turned the tables and they lead by the score of 3-2 to two with 13.34 to play here in this third period. It was a minute and two seconds yep. after the other goal. So Barterson gets another one. Teckel will get at least one of the assists. And the Eagles now all of a sudden lead by one. How quickly things can change. Bob was still announcing the second goal when that one was <laughs> called. Bob a little behind here tonight. We'll wait for the third goal call here. As Eagle he goal, to... score by number 19. Christian Bardison. Assist, number 21, Nick Teckel, and number 20, Bobby Price. So Teckel and Price get the assist. Three, two Eagles as Vitali. Tried to get around the defense. Fenema lose the puck. Now Lamberti with it. Lamberti over at the far circle. Still has the puck. Eagles have a little more pep in their step. As they get it to the point, Thurlton. Nice pass over to Schwab. He winds and fires. That one wow. saved by Scott. Rebound goes to Vitali. Gianni Vitali has two points tonight. He scored the first Eagles goal. Got the assist on the second. Now here comes the Eagles. Casey with the shot. That hits the side of the net. Fenema behind the net. 12.30 to play in this third period. 3-2 Eagles. The other scorers going the Eagles' way. They could find themselves three points behind Blind River with a game in hand. Eagles keep the puck in again. Yeah, here's Palmario moving in. He winds and fires. Saves Scott. Big rebound. Goes to Thomas. He's got a player breaking, but he couldn't find Chichuk. And that's going to go down the ice. No icing as Blair picks it up. And that one goes down the ice, and that that's, one will be icing. icing. Okay. 
Lair, the Lakers have lost by the score of 4-1, to one, and bad news for them, Alabama Huntsville is leading Bowling Green 3-2, to two, so if those two scores hold, and Alaska can get at least a point later on against Anchorage, which they should, Anchorage is the worst team in college hockey, the Lakers will not make the playoffs. Dum, 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 Disappointing dum, dum, dum. season for the Lakers. No other way you can slice it. In a weak conference, you can't make top eight of ten teams. That's not a good season. You can give me excuses all day long, but that's not getting the job done. Now here's Banser behind the net, picked up by Chichuk. Over to Reynolds. Reynolds behind the net. Plays it over to Chichuk. Shots 43-15 Eagles. Now a chance yeah. in front. Casey with the play. Now back to the point butcher, and we have a net whistle. Off, I think. I don't think so. No, I don't know. We are saying offside? I, I don't know. Offside the call. Or gloving it. Always oh, saying gloving it in a neutral in opposition zone. Or outside of your zone. That's it. Okay. Barterson's goals, Larry, his 37th and 38th of the season. Tackle now with 51 assists. How about those numbers? Those are those are good numbers, both of them. Actually, Bartison, he hasn't scored in a while, neither. No. Right? Yeah, so between Tekel uh, last game and Bartison this game, maybe they're on track again. Trying to get an update from the Rhodes. It looks like they haven't had any updates for a while. It's still 6-3 at last count between Blind River and the Sioux Thunderbirds. We'll see if I can get an update on Twitter as far as what's going on there. Quinn has a puck. He dumps it in the corner. Benzer's back there with it. Stick hound behind the net. He's t two guys are on him. He's still fighting for the puck. He's still down there. Now here's Capasiolta with the shot. Hits the side of the net. Over to Quinn. Quinn now puts it in front. Banser, another chance for the Eagles. He gets knocked down. And the Express come up with it. Barassa. Right now Espinola is just happy to get it out of their zone. But they're going to have to score one here if they want to tie up this hockey game. Back at center ice, Blair. Blair gets it in his own zone. Blair now skates it to center. Puts a shot on. Blocker saved by Scott. He's made 41 saves tonight. Brancato's made 13. To Chuck. Over to Way. Now Patterson in his own zone. To Schwab. Now Schwab shoots it in. On the near boards, Heacock. We'll have immediate timeout on our next whistle. We're under 10 minutes to play here in the third period. Now Teckel moves in. Teckel, wide open shot. Ooh, oh, and a glove save there, Scott. Oh, 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 he read him. As Teckel saw a lot of room, but we'll have immediate timeout. Larry, 9.51 to play here in the third period. Yeah, Teckel, Teckel was going for that uh, glove side, but uh, Scott, he shone the glove there beautifully. And... Uh, <laughs> Nick Teckle, his dad was down there. His dad was ready to jump, I think. Huntsville has beaten Bowling Green 3-2, to two, so the Lakers' playoff chances are pretty much gone. A few more sponsors that I missed earlier. Uh, I think Century 21, Guido's Pizza, Air Bear Travel, Best Western. Go ahead. You got anything else? No, no, go ahead. You, okay, all Royal you. Memorial Hospital, Law Offices of William Dyke, Justin, Harmony Health Foods, Marchetti Distributing, and we said CS. B, Central Savings Bank, with a bunch of locations in Michigan, the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Still no update at the roads between Blind River and Espinola. I'm going to try one other, or Blind River and the Sioux Thunderbirds, excuse me. I'm going to try to find one other outlet here as far as scores. That's not bad. You know, uh, Espinola only three icings in the first uh, 10 minutes, so I was expecting more. Well, yeah. Game's not over yet. 9.51 to play in this third period. 3-2 Eagles. Two goals by Christian Barterson here in the third period. His 36th and 37th of the season. He gets another one. He'll have that natural. That's right. Way with the puck for the Express. Full marks to them tonight. They played a, a good game. And still in it. Blair at the point. Blair with the shot. And Scott makes the save. And he'll nope. hold. He saw that all the way. Nobody in front. He had two guys coming in late on each side of the goaltender. And no rebound. Uh, Scott was out on the blue. Out of the blue. Two home games left after this one. Larry and I will be here a week from tonight. 
as the Eagles will take on the Blind River Beavers in what potentially could be a very big game. You're right. Yes, as far as third place, the Eagles will take on Elliott Lake a week from Saturday as we'll have only five games remaining after this one. Thomas with the puck. Now the Eagles pick it up. Tharlson. And his own net. Now passes it up to Barterson. Barterson loses the puck. Thomas tried to shoot it into the Eagles zone. Now Barassa gets it over to Thomas. Thomas with the wrister. And a glove save there by Brancato. And he'll hold. Puck was going high and wide. But Brancato slapped up the glove there. And he made a nice save too. So Larry, excited for the bronze medal game for Canada against the Czech Republic? Is that uh, <laughs> get, getting, getting excited, fired up for that one here no, uh, tomorrow? No. Well, you know, you have a better chance in the U.S. to win a medal in men's hockey, so. Still no CBC here on we this go. side. Now here's Saxton, a two-on-one. He's got Rowe with him. Saxton keeps it over to Rowe. He had a rolling puck. Yep, and that one passed behind Rowe, goes to center. Butcher at the blue line, up to Saxton. Saxton shoots it in. Scott stops it behind the net. 8.45 to play here in the third period. Butcher gets it behind the net. Mahalo pinching in a Schwab. Now Laukinen with it. Laukinen up to Fenema. Fenema, ooh, that one. Wow, how did oh, he, he stay made, on yeah, side? He stayed, uh, wow, I almost did the splits in the process early. Saw a lot of that last night. Figure skating. Now oh, a whoa, shot whoa, there. Whoa. Save Brancato. As that one got through a deflection there. Dangerous play. Butcher gets it up to Saxton. Now Saxton, rink wide pass. Side of the reach of Rowe. Now Rowe tried to put it in front. Now it goes behind the net to Saxton. Centering chance broken up. He goes with it. Now Rowe in the slot. Quick shot. That one deflects wide. Rowe picks up the rebound. Rowe, top of the near circle in the slot with a shot. That one blocked. Back to Blair. Another shot blocked by Doucette. Now Doucette clears the zone. That one trickles down the ice. No, no icing. Yep, no icing as Dieball picks it up. Dieball shoots that one down. Deflected by Rowe. And the Eagles go for a line change. 7.30 to play in the third period. Still 3-2 Eagles. Shots 46. 16 in favor of the home team. Shot back into the Espinola end. If the scores remain as they are, the Eagles will move to within three points of Blind River for third place with the game in hand. Now here's Barassa with it. Center ice. Pass off the boards. Reynolds can't catch up to it. Tharlson behind the net to Lamberti. Now on the near boards, Casey. Casey with it. Plays it behind the net. Tharlson. Under seven to play. Casey's got Palmerio going to the net. Shot. That one hits the side of the net. Over to Barassa. Pinching in a Schwab. Now Schwab in the far corner. Pair of number twos over there. Now here's a chance in front. Palmerio shot. Save. Scott rebound. Another save. Puck still behind the net. Picked up by Palmerio. Now Palmerio. Fancy stick handling. However, he lost the puck to Reynolds. Reynolds at center ice. Now the Express with it. 6.20 to play in the third period. Patterson over to Way. Center ice, Heacock off of his stick. Blair, he'll shoot it in. Scott stops that puck. Shoots still on the near boards. Fenema can't clear it or Fanos over there. Now shot back in by Blair. Six minutes to play here in the third. Eagles holding on to a one goal lead or Fanos. Back to the point, Butcher. Butcher with the shot. That one misses. Goes along the near boards. Fenema gets it to Heacock. Now Heacock's got Laukinen across the blue line. Laukinen tried to get around Butcher. He does. Try to put it in front. Bounces. Goes back to the point. Hurley with the shot. That one deflects high. Over to Heacock. Espinola with some pressure here. Fenema behind the, the Eagles goal. Over along the end boards. So he's trying to get a whistle. Kicked out by Banser. Now here's Banser. Center ice. That one's going to go down the ice. Laukinen with it. Behind the net. Now Laukinen clears it to center. To Tharlson. 5-10 to play here in the third period. Orfanos. Pass off the boards to Banser. Banser back to Orfanos. Quick shot. That goes through the slot. 
Over to die ball on the far boards, now picked up by the Express. They can't clear the zone as Starlson shoots it in. Scott's, <clears throat> excuse me, Scott stops it behind the net. Capasiolto, now Capasiolto with the shot, another save, Scott. Long time without a whistle here. Reynolds at center ice. Now Reynolds fires it off the boards. Die ball up to Capasiolto, poke checked away. Barassa has it. 4.30 to play in the third period. Reynolds shoots it in. Puck goes behind the net. Die ball with the puck. Now puck along the near boards. Eagles trying to clear the zone. Chachuk shoots it back in. Tharleson now stops it behind the net. As this third period starting to go quickly. Tackle across the blue line. Tackle. Lost the puck. Now picked up by Price. Blair. He'll dump it back down low. Four minutes to play in the third period. We've got about four minutes without a whistle. Eagles will take it. They want that clock to run. Price over at the far corner. Now puck goes along the near side. Way. Blair shoots it in. That one hits the side of the net. I think we've hit the side of the net about six times in this period. Yeah, you're right. Now Bartison. He lost the puck. Picked up by the Express, and they have a three on two. Here's to Chuck. Across the blue line, he's got Heacock going to the net, but that one hits the skate of an Eagles player. Fenema chases that back. 3.30 to play here in the third. Eagles lead by one. Fenema at center ice. Now Price picks it up, oh. and finally we're going to get a whistle there, and I think we're going to have a penalty as well, a hooking call. Against the Eagles. And so Espinola is going to go on the power play with 3.30 or 3.23 to play here in the third period. Wow, that's going on uh, is that 10 11, I can't see, I can't make it. 19. Bartison. Time out by somebody here, I think, eh? Oh, it's, uh, no. yeah, time yeah, out That's a good from, time uh, out by Espinola. Espinola, yeah. yeah. Getting your guys rusted. Okay, I get a couple more, no, what else do I have here now? I think I went through everything here on my uh, sheet here. We don't get a, a, a printout like we used to do. I don't know what happened there. I think they're on strike. Oh. <laughs> then again, most of the time it was fake news anyway. Oh, <laughs> wow, Larry Pazabon <laughs> with the fake news reference. Oh, man. Wow, you don't have that on your side. Speaking oh, of that, we okay. still can't get a CBC here. I heard they cut the line. Yeah, eh? they, they, they cut did. the line. They're they tired did. of people watching the Olympics. I didn't want to hear the political BS that you hear. Well, pardon my French there, but sorry. But when I want, when I want to watch sports, I don't want to hear anything else. I just want to, like when I go to a concert. I don't want to hear. I don't care who it is. I don't want Ted Nugent telling me how great the president is. And I don't want anybody mm -hmm. else telling me how bad the president is. Yeah. So just play the darn songs and move on with life. So here we go, back to Hockey Larry Espinola on the power play. Into they win the faceoff. Christian Bartison, two minutes hooking. So hooking the Look call, save, rebound, oh. just goes wide. Bartison, rather Brent Cotto out of his net. No stick, shot. Oh, and that deflected off Italia. Break for the Eagles because Brent Cotto was scrambling all around trying to get his stick. Hurley missed the first opportunity mm. there. And <laughs> yeah, wow, the Eagles dodged one right there, I'll tell you. What's our over-under on the on the coughs to your right and my left tonight, Larry? Do we have an over-under tonight? <laughs> on what, the icy? No, the coughs. The coughs, oh, I don't know. I think we're, well, I think we, uh, if you picked over, you won. <laughs> Get some NyQuil people. <laughs> that one shot down the ice. The lemon drop kid, <laughs> yeah, that's what he's, uh, yeah, you got really. him to At least that wasn't coughing. <laughs> Oh, yes, we, I'm sorry, we had them back there. That's right, uh, yeah, yes, yeah. indeed. I forgot about those ones. Under three to play here in the third period. Minute 25 left on the Espinola power play. We'll keep an eye on their goaltender. You wouldn't think they'd pull them during this power play, but probably shortly after if they don't get one. Chichuk with it. Now back to center ice. Palmario chasing the puck. Across the blue line. Nice move. Palmario trying to catch up to it. He gets knocked down. No, no call. call. No, no call. Wasn't warranted, I don't think. Espinola with it. Minute left on the power play, Chichak. Chichak now, the Eagles will shoot it down the ice. Eagles getting a change out there, they need it, the guys are tired. 2.20 to play in this third period. Here's Thomas with some speed. Thomas across the blue line, backhands the puck in. Schwab over there for the Eagles, 40 seconds left on the power play, two minutes to play in the third period. Eagles lead by the score of three to two. 
Oh, puck still hanging on those end boards. Banser over at the far board, shoots it down the ice. Scott with it. Good Shots job by Swab down there holding that puck. Shots 48-18 Eagles. And that one shot back down the ice again. Doucette. Gets the puck in his own zone. We'll keep an eye on Scott as we have a minute 30 to play. Now Hurley with it. Hurley tried to put it in front. Five seconds left on the power play. Hurley still has it. Buckle on the near boards back to Doucette. He winds and fires. That one deflects wide. Eagles back at full strength. We have a minute 15 to play. Now Doucette keeps it in. If you're Espinola, you got to think about pulling the goalie here pretty soon. Centering chance, a shot, and a goal! Heacock found himself open, and he scores his second goal of the night. And we have a tie hockey game at three with a minute 10 to play in the third period. Well, I guess you don't have to pull the goalie, Larry, when that happens. No, you don't. So, wow, the Eagles cannot hold on to the lead. And well, Espinola, again, credit them, Larry. They're short staff, but they are fighting hard tonight. They came to play. Six to four, Thunderbirds over Blind River. That one in the third period. Five. Jackson Heacock, assist, number 17, Logan Fenema, and number two, Jacob Doucette. The time of the so Doucette and Fenema get the assists. We have 59 seconds remaining. We are tied at three, and really, Larry, we haven't seen many overtimes here this year, have we? We had one, I think, yeah, maybe very one. early in yeah. the year. All the rest have been on the road. Yeah, and the Eagles have done well in overtime. But they have tied Espinola in their only one. Still time here. But Espinola, despite being outshot by 30, are right in this game as that one goes down. We'll have an icing call. Larry Brayside Balfour still trailing Elliott Lake. 4-2, to that one midway through the third period. They must have had a delay or something at the roads as that one was late in the second period for the longest time. And now they're just at the end of the second period. So unless this one goes deep into overtime, we may not have a final there. But... We're worried about this one right here. Yes, we are. As we're tied at three, Eagles win the face off. Schwab with it, shot, save, rebound. Goes to Chuchuk. Now oh, Saxon intercepts. Saxon with a shot. Oh, and a glove save there by Scott. He's been good with that glove all night long. He's been good all night long. Yeah. 39 seconds left here. NLJHL overtime format. You play five minutes of four on four hockey. If nobody scores, you play five minutes of three on three hockey. If nobody scores, that's it. It's a tie. Not many hockey organizations do that anymore. I should say leagues. What do we have here? Eagles won the faceoff, but he's blowing the whistle. Somebody from Espinola was out of play on the offside on the whistle, so the uh, centerman gets thrown out and somebody else comes in. So Palmario to take the draw for the Eagles. 38 seconds remaining. Faceoff. Controlled by the Eagles and a shot. There and it is. Oh. Wow. Was that Bartison? That yeah, was. He's so, got the natural hat trick. Yeah, nobody wanted that face off, and the puck ended up going to Bartison. And well, if you give him space, he's going to bury that one. And there's a hat on the ice, Larry. It's a natural hat trick for Christian Bartison, and tough luck for the Espinola Express. Well, it's not over yet. It's not, but that one's gonna be tough to respond as Eagles now lead by the score of four to three as Christian Barterson scores his 38th goal of the season. Club number 19, his third goal of the hockey game. Christian Barterson. That is empty, Larry, 20 seconds Assist to play. number 21, Nick Teckel. Time of the goal, 19. 28. So Teckel with three assists as Palmario gets hit up high. 15 seconds to play. Espinola has got to get the puck. 10 seconds. The Eagles with it. And that one's going to trickle the center ice, Larry. So the Eagles, it wasn't pretty by any stretch of the There's imagination. A as a goal. I think that's Schwab. Yeah. He was telling his players, get out, get out. I got an open net to shoot at. Well, somehow the... <laughs> The hat comes back on the ice. <laughs> I think they didn't realize it wasn't a hat trick there. But, hey, Larry, the Eagles, it wasn't pretty. They're going to have to play a lot better tomorrow night. But they're going to get the two points, and it could be a big two points indeed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. Nick Teckel. Oh, Teckel got it. I thought it was Schwab. 
Our final score, the Sioux Eagles five, the Espanola Express three for our cameraman Rob Horn and for color commentator Larry Pazabon. Scott Nason signing off from Puller Stadium. We'll be back next Friday night here on Hockey TV. Good night, folks.